Hi, my name is Troy and welcome to this edition of Zoner Photo Studio Tutorials. Zoner Photo Studio 14 Pro is the efficient way to manage, edit, and share your photos. Well, today we're going to be demonstrating our How to Remove Moving Objects feature within Zoner Photo Studio 14 Pro. The scenario is we've been out and we have a photo or we have a street that we'd like to take a nice shot of but we don't want cars or pedestrians in the shot so I'm gonna go to this folder here we have nine images that we've taken of this street and I'll click on the first one here now with Zoner Photo Studio you have over on the right you have our film strip of photos and it'll be nine of them that we've taken nice thing is if you watch my mouse I'll click on this and I'm gonna drag this onto another arrow and when I let it go it's now repositioned there and likewise I can grab it again and grab it drag it to another arrow and let it go so I'm just demonstrating that you have the options of repositioning your screen and and your look however you want to so We'll go back and we'll put it on the side. Back to our tutorial here. I always try to throw in a little extra whenever I can. So we want to get a really nice shot of this street with no pedestrians. We have one pedestrian here. So I go over and click on my next photo and we have a cab, another pedestrian, a car, and a pedestrian. So how do we get a nice shot of this street with all of the architecture, the building, the cobblestone streets without any pedestrians? Well, within Zoner Photo Studio 14, there is a really, really neat feature which is going to save you so much time. Yes, you can do this in Photoshop, but without having to go into masking different layers and, and all of the different types of things you'll have to do in, the, in Photoshop to create this, what we're going to do is simply, uh, I'm going to close this picture and we'll see our nine images. What I like to do is simply um, press Control A and select all of the images. Once I've uh, selected all my images, I'm going to go up to our menu bar and select Create. We're going to join these multiple exposures and the beautiful thing about Zoner Photo Studio 14 is the simplicity. There's no uh, weird name or some scientific name for what we want to do. We want to remove the moving objects. So if you go over here and you look, take a look. Remove moving objects. Very simple. So we select that tab. Now what Zoner Photo Studio will do is it will always show you what images you have selected right now we only have nine selected because that's what we had in the folder but in the future you may have 50 pictures in this folder so Zerner Photo Studio will have the others grayed out and these will be selected just so you know what you're selecting and it gives you an option to um, to make changes like if I did not want this image I could just select it or deselect it and I'm gonna select it again if you don't want to have this step in the future come down here skip this step from now on so it gives you all of the options but we like our photos so we'll go to the next screen it's going to load all of those thumbnail images and then it will align those photos the beauty here is if you use a tripod great if you don't use a tripod just have a steady hand take the photos and we use our same technology which we use in our panoramic uh, images where the software will actually align your images for you so our photos are aligned we're going to go next it's going to generate an output image and remember it's going to remove the moving images uh, so there are the moving objects they're gone and we have a really nice clean picture with no moving objects. 
but just so that you know that this is for real this is no trick this is no photo I've already taken um, in the past I'll click on this little selection button here and when I select an area within our photo it's going to show me those nine layers as they're laid out in this photo so obviously we've used this image right here because if you look there's nothing there but at any time if we wanted to add someone back to the photo let's say if we select this image where the person is there we select it and come down here and press OK and they are put back into the image they're just Zoner Photo Studio is just using that slide or that overlay so it's really really neat um, and if you want to remove her just select that area scroll over here until you find one shot which does not have anyone in it and we have two because I selected a little smaller area this time so I'm just going to select this area press OK and that area is cleaned up and it's empty again I'll come over here select next now Zona Photo Studio is going to create a full-size image for us at this point we have the option of selecting save and going into uh, saving it as a TIFF a JPEG or one of our many uh, formats if I choose that I would like to edit this photo further I just select open in editor this photo is opened again and now I can do whatever I like I can sharpen it I can add color to the sky um, different types of things if there were something uh, in the street a piece of trash I could use one of our other tools and get rid of that very easy and at this point I would just file save as give the file a name and select save and that would complete our tutorial and removing all of our moving objects well thank you for joining us for this brief tutorial and make sure you check out our other tutorials online at zoner.com and as always we want to hear from you if you would like to learn something about zoner photo studio 14 pro and there isn't a tutorial yet let us know and we'll do our best to get one created for you. Just visit zoner.com and click on the support tab to contact us.